got a man in freezing full of fact. Uh-huh. You ready, Ron? I'm ready. You ready, dude? I'm ready, Slick. Are you? Oh, yeah. Take it down. Ma'am? Ma'am? Get out the way! guys it is almost 9 30 and i am done with the gym and i am on my way to meyer this week i'm switching it up the fat bombs were delicious but i was really in the mood for something hot in the mornings normally i just had a fat bomb and a protein shake both of which are cold and i was like i want a little bit more substance a little bit more flavor so i'm going with Crackslaw. Although I'm a little bit morally opposed to the name Crackslaw, but we're gonna move past that. Uh, I am looking forward to it. It's basically ground beef, cabbage, a bunch of Asian seasoning. So I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, but you guys, make me love hot dogs less. Make me love tuna fish less. Like, it tastes so good still. So I'm just gonna be having that as my second meal. I'm just switching up the first meal. I will say that this is causing me to go a little over on carbs. I'm about 15 total, but like only six or seven net. And I'm totally okay with that because most of the carbs are just coming from the fiber and the cabbage and then the trace carbs from the heavy whipping cream. So it is what it is. Just got home from shopping, about to enjoy some macadamia nuts, and then get cooking. meal prep that is crack slaw egg roll in a bowl that's what it is egg roll in a bowl there I'm um, there it is I found it so I am done with my egg roll in a bowl it was super simple to make here are the macros
So for now, I'm just gonna enjoy this Bulletproof iced coffee I made. It was leftover coffee, so I didn't really measure, like a cup and a half of coffee, half a cup of almond milk, put some sugar-free syrup in there, as well as four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna sit down and relax for a few more minutes. Then I have to head out of the house. I actually left something at my shop that I knew that I needed today so that it would force me to go to the shop and work. I know, right? I mean, it's really genius, but like stupid at the same time. So I have to go to the shop, but for right now, I'm gonna chill out literally and figuratively with my iced coffee and I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I don't know what the hell done changed, but it is raining cats and dogs outside. So that's no fun, but I just left the shop. I got what I needed and now I am on my way to my cousin's house. Okay guys, so ever since I've been losing weight with keto, of course everyone in my family is like, oh Autumn, what are you doing? And I've, I've just been like trying to preach the keto word, you know, to everyone. And my mom's got on board, you know, she's lost 20 pounds so far. My cousin's lost 15 pounds so far. And like, you know, the people that are doing it are doing it and I'm so happy. But this particular cousin whose house I'm going over to now, she just inquired about it and she is overweight and she's had um, lap band, is that the thing where they put the, the, I don't know. Either way, she's had, you know, like a weight loss surgery of sorts and she's already lost 90 pounds and that's great and I'm so happy for her, um, but she wants to kick it up a notch and do more so I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna like talk to her about it and we're gonna get a meal plan set up, uh, you know, just like initial set of macros and like a meal prep. I bought her a digital scale and some measuring cups uh, just because like you need that. You need to measure and know what you're eating and how much you're eating. Even if you're under eating, you could be under eating. It's not only to overeat, but sometimes you're not eating enough. So I bought her those things. I'm gonna talk to her. I'm gonna help her, hopefully, you know, she sticks with it, I'm gonna encourage her, like, I'm trying not to put, put too much pressure because you, you don't want it to be like a high pressure situation in case it doesn't work out. But at the same time, it's like a big deal because like today could be the first day of the rest of her life, you know? Like, I don't know, I don't know. But either way, I'm just on my way over there. I'm gonna help how I can. I'm gonna support and just give any advice needed. I'm so happy that she reached out and wants to learn. And so that's what I'm doing in this rain, still in this tank top, looking stupid out here getting rained on, but that's okay, cause I look good. Hey guys, it's almost eight o'clock. I am back from meeting with my cousin. We talked for a long time. We went to the grocery store, bought some groceries. I calculated her macros for her. We made up a meal plan of things she's gonna eat this week. I'm so excited. Everyone say a special thought for her. I believe she's gonna do it. I believe in her. I'm just so excited. I want everyone to feel successful the way that I feel successful. Also score, uh, we went to the store and I found something for myself. Have you ever tried these Southern recipe small batch honey chipotle or any of the pork rinds really? Um, you notice this bag is empty? Cause we ate them all. But that's okay because I didn't have dinner anyways. I was gonna have hot dogs, but I was like, just pork rinds instead. To I'm buying these, but I will have to portion them out in the future because wow. So as discussed this week, I am having egg roll in a bowl in the morning. I think that's all for my first meal. For my second meal, I am having two hot dogs, tuna, I mean, I love it. I just love the way that tastes. So I'm gonna be eating that for a while. I have my sugar-free Jello and I have my Zevia for snacks as well as my sugar-free gum. And I am just chugging along. You guys, I started working out last week for the Deeper State Keto at home workout and my body is so sore, which means that the exercises are working and I'm breaking down that muscle fiber. Eh. So I'm gonna keep doing that this week feeling great. My weight is about stagnant because uh, I am lifting weights. That means I'm just changing the composition of my body. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto, as well as you can find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week. Poison, poison, poison.